Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about um, what is called a spark test. So you're probably wondering what is she talking about now? But <laughs> uh, we are gonna talk about a spark test and it's really cool and it's something I started reading about in the book Sparked. So I'll do a review on this book once I'm done um, reading it. I'm about uh, maybe like a quarter way through, but the first chapter makes you take what's called a spark test. And so you, as you can see here on my Notion, here's the book. And um, if you're friends with me, you've probably already gotten the quiz because I have I mass sent it to all my friends. <laughs> and so here we have sparked. This is how I take um, notes on books. I already categorized it. Um, and then we have the quiz, which I linked. And then we'll go through my spark type, some of my other friends, um, but let me show you and I'll link below where you can take this. But basically you take this test called the spark type assessment and it's supposed to tell you what motivates you or what sparks you to do work. And it's something that's like, something you can test when you're like a kid and you start answering these questions like, um, you know, when I'm immersed in a, the quest to solve a big problem, I'm doing the work I'm meant to do. If I was financially set for life, but still had to work, I'd spend my days doing X, you know? And, and then you fill out this form and it tells you what your spark type is. And there is, let's see, what is this? Uh, four, eight, nine, ten, ten 10 spark types. So I'll quickly go through them. <clears throat> Scientists solving problems, warrior, it's going to be like you lead the pack, you lead the charge to go basically to war or to go again, to go solve a problem or whatever it may be. Nurturer, kind of intuitive, you nurture people. Performer, you like to uh, perform in front of people. Um, sage is, I think it's similar, like giving advice, kind of like an advocate, ad advisor. Uh, not sure on the difference there. Essentialist, you like to put things in order. Um, maker, you like to make things. Maven, you learn for the sake of learning. Advocate, you basically represent a group that is like underrepresented or you're an advocate for somebody's behalf. Advisors, you like to tell people. I do need to know more about the sage because I think I got lost on that one. So basically, you're going to have a um, main or primary spark type and then you're going to have a shadow that supports your main and then you have an anti which is the one that's like totally not you so for example i am a maven i learn for the sake of learning that is my main driver and then my second one is the essentialist which i like to put things in order i'm huge on lists ordering uh information and in, in, in the right way condensing it to make sense so even though I like to put things in order, my main one is I learn for the sake of learning. So those together encompasses m myself. Now, I do feel like I have a little bit of the maker, a little bit of the scientist um, in me as well. Uh, oh, Sage, I think is teaching. That's what that one was. Okay, so you go in here, you take the test. Those were mine. Um, and it's really cool because I've been sending this to my friends. So I have mine written here <clears throat> and I have some of my friends like Nathan, who is my go-to person for like any advice and like when I want to run things past somebody, it's either Nathan or my friend Trey. And, but Nathan's like probably one of my top go-tos, especially for last years. And it's so funny that his primary is an advisor, like it makes total sense. And his it, teaching a shadow totally makes sense. And then um, my friend Robbie, who I learned the majority of my knowledge from, <laughs> It's from the teacher. I like it makes sense. And then essentialists, like we both, we both do very similar jobs. We have the exact same job. Um, my friend Marshall, Reese, I'm trying, I'm waiting on Brian. <laughs> but uh, so I put those in here and then I'm going to take notes on the book as I go about it. But it's kind of a cool test. And I think it's something that that is worth looking into because I am huge on the INTJ or the, the um, was that four letter test, the Myers-Briggs one, and I'm an INTJ. And I love that test. I like doing it. And then there's like um, Ray Dalio, who wrote the book Principles. He likes to put people on cards and write down these types of things. But it's really cool because I can see like the people around me, what their main motivation is, what drives them, what sparks them. So I thought I figured I would share, but I think it's really cool. And you should probably send this quiz out and totally do it yourself and kind of learn a little bit more about what is driving you. And um, I will do a review on this book once I'm done with it so far. It's really freaking good. 
I'm reading my chapters first and then I'll go back and read the other ones. Um, like nurture, not really a big fan. But anyway, I hope this helps you guys and let me know what you think about the quiz and what you are below.